Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Today, it's time to open up some more trading cards. And today, we're gonna look at Street Fighter the movie. Yes, the one with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now recently, I was able to pick up five packs of cards. Now, I am a collector, so I've been debating this the entire time. Should I open all five packs of cards or should I open up four and keep one for myself? I think I'm gonna take this one, I think it's the best pack, and put it to the side here, as I believe it's the best pack, and I really do wanna keep one for myself, for at least nostalgia. Now we are gonna open up these other four packs, and let's see what we got. Now I'm really interested to see what cards we do get here. Um, I don't know, I'm, I, it really doesn't matter. I just, I guess I'm just hoping for like a Raul Julia. I think that'd be really cool. Let's see here. I don't even know what the, okay. It's backwards, that's why we couldn't tell. So we got Cammy versus a Trooper here. These are actually pretty nice cards too. Let's see here. Ah, DJ taking off with those bison dollars. The ones that aren't worth the paper that they're printed on. Let's see here. Next we have Cammy getting ready to throw down, getting ready to put on her thrust kick. Next up we have, okay, here we go, the face-off between Gal and Raul Julia. What the heck is, oh, two cards. We got Chun-Li as the reporter here. And we got Guile interviewing Cammy. So some pretty nice cards here in the first pack. Oh wait, I think we missed one. We did miss one. Uh, I think these cards, oh shoot, we may have missed two. Well no, we got the first one. So we got Street Fighter, okay, so this was behind the scenes. And then we got this Vega one with the uh, Street Fighter 2, but that's Balrog's background. Not sure if they did that on purpose or if uh, Somebody was just like, yeah, it, it's it's fine. It's the same character. Just put them behind that background. It's cool. Nobody will notice. But uh, Vega with Balrog Street Fighter 2 background. Let's see, pack number two. We've got Blanca, or as he was known in the movie as Charlie, and then became Carlos Blanca. Now, in case you guys haven't already seen, I just did a Street Fighter movie look back comparison where I look at the Street Fighter movies from this one and The Legend of Chun-Li and I compare the two movies and see what the movies did right and more often than, than not, what the movies did wrong. So go ahead and check out that video because uh, talking about Blanca is one of those things I talk about in that movie review. Oh, Blanca, at least they got his stage right though. They did get him behind the right stage. Uh-oh, stuck together. Okay, well, we've got Ryu in, in <laughs> at Ken's stage, so <laughs> either they were just short on time or nobody really knew what they were doing. It would have been nice if they had them in the proper backgrounds, you know, it's not that difficult. Like anybody who knows anything about Street Fighter could be like, yeah, that's uh, that's Ken's background right there. Either way, let's not complain too much, right? We got some cool cards that you can't find anywhere nowadays. So this is a uh, behind the scenes, and we've got Vega and Ken and uh, the characters that played Ryu as well. Not sure who the woman is in the in the shot though. Oh, director. Oh, director Mary Jo, casting director Mary Jo Slater. So that is the casting director right there. Oh, we got uh, Swa Swada, Captain Swada, who of course there was no Fei Long. Uh, they got all, they got 11 out of the 12 Super Street Fighter 2 characters in that movie and they didn't put Fei Long and replaced him with Captain Swada here. Ah, uh, we've got Cammy behind Chun-Li's background. Come on, guys. How difficult was it to put them behind the proper background? So easy, and it would've made so much more sense. Cammy behind, let's see, Guile. <laughs> I guess they just didn't care. I guess they were just like, whatever. I mean, they did get the one right, but 
<laughs> now Guile is behind Bison's background. Maybe because they're going and challenging these characters. Maybe that's the reason why, because Guile did go to challenge uh, Bison, but Vega didn't go to challenge Balrog, so it's not making any sense. Let's see if it says anything on here. I don't know, the print is so small here. I can hardly read it looking at the camera, but yeah, it kind of makes no sense. They should have just done it the correct way. Okay, so this is the scene in the movie where uh, Honda and Balrog think that Ryu and Ken are traitors. Oh my God, come on guys, come on. The same two cards in one pack. What a rip off. You got all these cards in this series and I get the same card. Ah, that frustrates me. All right, we got two packs left, let's go. Not two packs, but two packs left. Okay, we got uh, behind the scenes with the character who played Cammy. We got Chun Li and Cammy with Chun Li's background. We've got ourselves. Uh, some behind the scenes. No, this is actually a scene from the movie when they were breaking out of the prison. Captain Swada, a duplicate. <laughs> Sagat realizing he got screwed. And, oh, the scene where they infiltrate uh, the camp there with Chun-Li, Balrog, and Honda as TV news reporters, of course. This was a cool scene with Chun-Li and Bison. Probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie. And, wait, did we get the same card again? Here we go again, come on guys! The same card twice in the same pack. All right guys, here we go. The fourth and final pack that I'm gonna be open. Come on, let's get some good stuff here. We really need to have some good cards and no more duplicates, come on. We've only got four packs. These cards are really hard to find and I did pay can't remember what I paid for. I might have paid $20 for the five pack because you just, once these cards are gone, you're not getting any more. So I figured, you know what? I'm a Street Fighter fan. Why not splurge a little bit, get the cards? I would kind of regret it if I didn't have them in my collection. Now, here we go. We've got a behind the scenes of Chun-Li. See who she's with here. Uh, Deborah. Deborah Kramer, uh, the costume designer. So she is here with Deborah Kramer, the costume designer here. It's nice to give the people in the production some love. Uh, we've got Ryu. Not only is it a duplicate, but it's an error with him behind Ken's stage. Uh, come on, it's the guy in DJ. We've got that one already. And Bison and Guile fighting. Now, I don't think we got that one. I think we had a different one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we had them squaring off earlier, and now we have them going toe to toe. It'd be cool if we could have got like one of the flash kick ones, which was, you know, I like the Chun Li Bison scene, but Guile doing the flash kick was pretty damn cool. Ah, uh, T Hawk. Okay, so that's at least a new one. And kind of make sure there's no card stuck. I bet you, I bet you we missed at least one here with these cards here. Now I did think this was cool where Bison actually used the Street Fighter II arcade joystick pad as his controller for his levitation device. I actually did think that was pretty cool. And here it is here in this car. <laughs> but I didn't think it was that cool though to get it twice in the same pack. Ah, oh, Lorcius. All right, our final card we're gonna take a look at is gonna be um, Guile checking on Dalsum, Dr. Dalsum to be exact, and realizing what happened to his best friend, Charlie. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up this unpacking of the Street Fighter II movie cards. We have do got a bunch here, some cool ones. You know, I wish we wouldn't have got some duplicates, but that's what it goes. Especially if you get them in the same pack. I feel that's just a little cheap and they really didn't do a good job of uh, sorting them. Cause you know, when you pay for card packs, you want some unique stuff, but here we go. We did get a nice stack of Street Fighter 2, no, just Street Fighter, the movie cards, and 
you know what? I am going to keep this one pack wrapped. I am going to keep it. I am a collector and I, as much as I really want to see what's inside, I feel like if I did open it, I might actually regret it. So I'm going to keep it. And if I find more later on, then I'll go ahead and unpack it. All right, guys, if you like these trading card videos, make sure you stay tuned in here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.